Hey, everybody. It's Ricky Smith. I know you might be a little confused as to why we're doing an extra on a Friday. Well, I found the neatest product and I had to sneak this in to share it with you. So it is, it's the neatest, here it is right here. In case you haven't seen it, they are, I am affirmation, ABC affirmation cards, and they are the coolest things. They are for little kids. I'm not even going to get into it. I want to introduce you to the creator and the creative mind behind this. The company is called Crowns Up Learning and the creator and inventor, if you will, CEO and founder, her name is Ashley Broadnax. Ashley, how are you? I'm well. Thank you so much, Ms. Ricky, for having me. It is more than my pleasure because, you know, when I saw your product, I ordered it the first day I saw it and I ordered two because I'm, I'm all about it. I've ordered one for me. This is my personal one that sits on my desk. And this is for a little friend of mine that they're going to get later. So, Ashley, first of all, the product is amazing. Tell me a little bit about you and where this idea came from. Thank you. Um, I am a new parent. Well, I'm a new wife as well as the new parent, we have uh, we had two under two, two children under two years old. Um, and I'm a former educator and I've worked with kids for over 14 years. So as we were, you know, getting products for our son um, and books for our daughter, we noticed that a lot of the things, the books, the products, the TV shows did not feature people that look like him. Mm -hmm. um, as a teacher, I recognize that a lot of the things that we put in front of our babies don't look like our babies. So I wanted to change that. So I wanted to create something that is for us, by us. And we just believe at Crowns Up Learning that we can be affirming while learning. Wow, I love that. Affirming while learning. And, and that is the neatest thing because I've been running around with these in my purse and telling people all about them. So tell me a little bit about where the idea for these particular cards came from and who are they for? Absolutely. So the idea came from, again, my son is recently two years old. So as we were working on letter recognition and letter sound, um, I was screenshotting pictures off of Google, honestly. Mm -hmm. And my husband had recorded me working with my son on it, just going through my phone with the pictures. And people were asking me, like, is that an app? Is that some flashcards? Where can I purchase? And I was like, well, it's not, but I can, I can make it. And um, so it literally just started from there. I really believe that it was a God given idea. Mm -hmm. And um, I added the affirmations on there as well as, again, as a teacher, I know that we need ready-made activities mm -hmm. and to take learning further than just saying it. So I included um, the definition yeah. on there as well as some conversation starters and an affirmation to speak back over that mm. child. So those conversation starters have are just helpful. Parents and teachers, whoever, counselors, church members, you don't have to come up with questions on your own. You mm -hmm. can use those and let the conversation flow from there. And I love um, that. What what age group do you would you say this is for? I've used it with my son who's two all mm. the way to fifth graders. Okay. Um, I've used it. I've done it with pre-K classes. I've done it with second, third graders and even fifth graders. Mm -hmm. I believe although their alphabet is on there, some people feel like, oh, well, my child already knows their alphabet. We don't need these. But right. the affirmations, everybody needs affirmations. Everybody needs affirmations. And That's why I said, I got it from you. The vocabulary. Yeah. Um, I intentionally chose words that were, um, you know, a little, a little more difficult on purpose mm -hmm. yeah. to introduce them to expand the vocabulary. Which is so wonderful. I, I'm telling you, when I first got it, I went through them all. I, and I just, and I have to go through this because, you know, traditionally you see a flashcard and A is for Apple, Apple right? Mm -hmm. And not on yours. A is for ambitious. Ambitious. Yes. I love that. <laughs> and B is for brave. And, yes. I, and I like the way that you did it. Not only do you have um, able-bodied kids, you have kids that are able-bodied challenged, if you will. You've Absolutely. got girls and boys, Absolutely. you know, playing. And, and it is so phenomenal. Um, and because they are affirmations, this is what I noticed about them. On the front of the card, it will say, I am in this case, it says friendly, but mm -hmm. on the back, when you're, when the parents are dealing with it or whomever, it says you are yes. friendly. To speak What's life that back about? to that child. 
Um, again, working with students. Um, I'm a product of youth development myself. I was at the YMCA, the Boys and Girls Club, the community centers. Um, and, and I, this is my passion work. My heart beats for children. And um, you'd be surprised how much, how many of them do not believe in themselves or even hear that they are. And if we can start declaring these things into these kids when they're young, you know, when they're faced with their own self-esteem issues, they already have in themselves who they are and what they right, are. Right. Um, so I just believe in, in, in speaking, there's power in what we speak over our children and what yeah. they hear us say to them. Mm-hmm. So that's what that's about. And that is so good. You know, it reminds me of the scripture that says, you hiding these words in your heart. Mm-hmm. And when you have a kid who, like mm-hmm. you said, who has problems with self-esteem or even a mm-hmm. parent who doesn't know how to speak to or speak life to their child, Absolutely. These cards give them that opportunity. Yeah. It gives them help. And like you said, you don't have to make it up. Absolutely. If you're not familiar with how to speak to your kid, I know that sounds crazy. But, but in, in your work, how many parents don't know how to talk to their kid? So many of them. So many of them. And um, or they don't have the time mm. or it's, diff- you know, it's a lot. So get these conversation starters. And this is feedback that I've gotten from people who actually use them. Mm -hmm. Oh, it makes it so easy to have conversations. We do it over dinner. We do it when we're getting ready for bed. Mm -hmm. We do it when we're getting, when we're on the way to school in the morning. And it just, it's the conversations from that point just flow. And Mm -hmm. it also causes them to really think about it. Like the Mm -hmm. G is for, I am grateful or the L is for, I am loved. And it's like, do you know that we're grateful for you? Mm -hmm. Right. So that opens up the room to have conversations because what if that child is not feeling loved or Mm -hmm. not feeling like they're appreciated? That's an opportunity for that adult in their life to say, no, we are indeed grateful for you. Mm -hmm. This is what you offer to this world. And this is why you are necessary and valuable. Uh, And and I love that. We need to tell our kids you're Mm -hmm. necessary. You're valuable. Mommy loves you. Daddy thinks you're a rock star, you know, whatever. And these cards help. One of the things on the I'm friendly one is, you know, it tells you friendly is being kind or um, being kind or pleasant towards others. I mean, it really, like you said, it gives you the word, the definitions and the conversation starter is what makes someone a good friend, you know, and now you're working on their cognitive think their cognitive skills, because it's not a yes or a no. Are Mm -hmm. you a good friend? Yes. Conversations Mm -hmm. over. (laughs) Right. Absolutely. But what makes a good friend, they're going to have to think about this, Mm -hmm. you know, and then they're going to have to determine, Mm -hmm. am I a good friend? Do I have good friends? Yes, absolutely. I love it. it, It's also a a social and emotional learning tool as well. And I know that that's a big push Mm -hmm. with a lot of school districts and daycares. Um, How am I socially? How does this child interact emotionally? How in tune with my emotions am I? Mm -hmm. Um, And this serves with that as well. So it's great for small groups. It's great for churches. You can do, you literally can do it anywhere. And it was intended you know, it was created yeah. with that purpose. And I did want to speak to what you were saying about the types of pictures. Mm-hmm. For Crowns of Learning, all of our pictures intentionally feature mm-hmm. those who are Black, Brown, Able, and Disabled. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Our students deserve to see themselves while learning. I, I so mean, that I is so huge. Products that see where they can see themselves yeah. um, and, and be more willing to like, hey, well, let me think about this, you know, mm-hmm. um, because also on that card, it says, how does it feel when someone isn't friendly towards you? Yeah. So then they're able to process that. Well, I don't like when such and such treats me like this. Mm-hmm. So then it makes me like, well, I want to make sure that I'm not, you know, you right, can refer right. back to that at a later time. Yeah. And, you know, it's just a, a great, it, it leaves room for so many teaching opportunities. Yeah, that is so true. Talk to us about some of the other products that you offer at Crowns Up Learning. Awesome. I will. So here we have the I am ABC affirmation with well, the affirmation handwriting workbook. Okay. So this includes over 260 traceable lines of handwriting material. So it's mm-hmm. going to cover letters, numbers, colors, but in addition to, mm-hmm. it also has different activities. So the R is for, I am a reader. Mm-hmm. So this one is about, you know, if you were an author, illustrate your book so it gives them some time to kind of go over that the o is for being optimistic Mm -hmm. i'm sorry i'm trying to work that out so there's activity there 
Um, like I said, it also goes over the emotional, um, social and emotional, just them getting in tune with their emotions. Mm -hmm. So the E is for empathy. How many of us could learn what empathy is? That's right? true. Um, That's true. I work with eighth graders, so we, we really need this. So <laughs> it's just a, a chance to, in addition to working on your handwriting, being affirmed, all of the yeah. it's affirmations from A to Z. Um, mm -hmm. I know things. I know my colors. I can write my numbers. Mm -hmm. um, I also have created some classroom decor posters. So okay. if that is for any type of learning environment, whether it be a school or homeschool, mm -hmm. if you want to put those things up in, in your home, um, at your church, at community centers. Um, and again, all of those posters intentionally feature those who are Black, Brown, Able, and Disabled. They are all diverse and inclusive. Yeah. So they're not excluding anybody, but we intentionally include yeah. um, and being affirming while learning. I'm in the process of creating some more affirmation flashcards for the middle school age, okay. Okay. Um, the upper elementary and middle school age. So those include affirmations that are a bit richer right? Mm -hmm. Because our, 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 those children are older and they can sure. understand that yeah. and um, a more vast vocabulary, but they also include the conversation starters as mm -hmm. well. You all, there's so much richness in what she's talking about. And if you are an educator, a parent, if you are a ministry leader, or even a homeschool person, these cards and these resources is exact. These are exactly what you are looking for. And let me tell you, so you, you see how they do, right? But this is how they come. It comes in just a little package and it comes with the, the, the D ring on it. So you can get it and use it right away. This is not something that you have to put together. No, this is something you will get, you will use and, and start off right away. Look, you guys, this conversation is going to go on longer because there's so many things I need to ask her. But while you're here, don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up and share this with your network. It's important to get this word out. And don't forget, all of Ashley's information will be down in the description below. So you will be able to contact her and order her product as well. But Ashley, my my friend, yes, before I let you go, <laughs> I love games now, Miss Ricky. Well, I then you're going to enjoy this. This <laughs> game is called This or That. It's really simple. I'm going to give you the choice of two things, and you, off the top of your head, just tell me which one you like the best. Are right. you ready to play? I am ready. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, flowers or plants? Flowers. My plants always die. <laughs> <laughs> We're not judging. <laughs> Hotel or tent? Hotel. Me too, right? <laughs> Water park or amusement park? Mm, water park. Okay. Practical joker or I don't play like that? Practical joker. Wow. Okay. Candlelight <laughs> or moonlight? Ooh, that's hard. Mm, moonlight. Okay. You didn't sound too sure. <laughs> candles are my, are my thing, but mm -hmm. the moon, it, the stars, it just makes me think of me and my husband. So that's Ooh, <laughs> Okay. Are you a planner or do you make it up as you go? I'm a planner that also makes up as I go. I know you have little kids. <laughs> yeah, right. you have little I'm kids. Mostly a planner. <laughs> Very flexible planner, huh? <laughs> do yeah. you go all day or do you need a nap? Oh, I need a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Me too. <laughs> when you're speaking, is it pecan or pecan? I, I don't even like them, but I say pecan. No, I say pecan pie. Pecan pie. No, I say pecans. Okay. See, that's funny. You, like you have to think about it. Yeah. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> when you meet somebody for the first time, what do you notice? Their eyes or their smile? Their smile. Ah, I bet. Okay. Are you a words of affirmation person or an acts of service person? The older I get, acts of service is moving its way on up there. Okay. Um, 
but I, I still would say words of affirmation. Yeah. I, you know, like you said, as you get older, things change. So who right. knows, right? Right. <laughs> and, and finally, Ashley, what would you tell your younger self now? Give yourself grace, baby girl. You're going to get there. Yeah. I love it. Give yourself grace. Yeah. That's, that's good. That sounds like a whole nother conversation that we'll have to get to. <laughs> Hello? Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. That's it this time. But don't worry. Our extras are doing what they do. But because this is Friday, y'all, I will see you next Friday.